What is up, fans? The Kindergarten Rocks channel here. Today we start a new book here. So, today's book is called Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. Chapter 1 Meeting Mrs. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrix, except I don't like Beatrix. I just like being, that's all. I'm almost six years old. Almost six is when you get to go to kindergarten. Kindergarten is where you go to meet new friends and not watch TV. My kindergarten is, in, is the afternoon kind. Today was my first day of school. I'd be... I'd be to my room before through. Last week, Molly took me there to meet my teacher. It's called Meet the Teacher Day. My teacher was decorating the bulletin board with the letters of the alphabet. I already know all of those letters. I said I could see them, sing them, except I don't feel like it right now. My teacher shook my hands. Only our hands didn't fit together. That's good. Her name was Miss... Mrs. I can't remember the rest of it. Mrs. said, I look cute. I know it, I said. That's because I have on my own sh my new shoes. I held my foot up way high in the air. See how shiny they are? Before I put them on, I licked them. And guess what else, I said. This is my bestest hat, Grandpa Miller bought it for me. She's the devil on horns sticking out the sides. Mrs. laughed, except I don't know why. Devil horns are supposed to be scary. Then we walked around the room and she showed me where stuff was, like the L E cells, where we get to paint, and the shelves where the books are. And the shelves where the books are, sorry. And the tables where, where we sit and don't watch TV. One of the tables in the front of the room had a red chair. I would like to sit here, I think, I told her. But Mrs. said, we'll have to wait and see, Junie B. I said, call me Junie B. I hollered the B part real loud so she wouldn't forget. People are always finding my bee. Mother rolled her eyes and looked at the ceiling. I looked up there, too, but I didn't see anything. Are you going to ride the bus, Junie Bee? Mrs. asked me. I made my shoulders go up and down. I don't know where it's going to. My mother nodded her my mother nodded her hands her head and said, Yes, she'll be riding the bus. That made me feel scary inside because I never ride it on a bus before. Yeah, only words where it's, where it's going to, I asked again. Mrs. sat on her desk. Then she and my mother talked more about the bus. I tapped on Mrs. Guess what? I still don't know where it's going to. Mrs. smiled and said the bus and said the bus driver's name was Mrs. Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu said, Mother, that's an easy name for Junie B to remember. I covered my ears and stepped my foot. Yeah, Ollie, where's the stupid smelly bus going to? Mother and Mrs. frowned. Frowning is when you oh, when your eyebrows look grumpy. Watch yourself, Missy, said Mother. Missy, my name when I'm in trouble. I looked down at my shoes. They didn't look as shiny as they did before. Just then, another mother and a boy came in, and Miss went off to talk to them instead of me. I don't know what I threw. The boy was hiding behind his mother and acting very babyish. I can beat that boy up, I think. After that, my mother sat me down and explained about the bus. She said, it's yellow, and it's called a school bus, and it stops at the end of my street. Then I get on it and, and sit down, and it takes me to school, and then your, your teacher will meet you in the parking lot, said Mother. Okay, Junie B, won't that be fun? I nodded the word yes, but inside my head, I said the word no. I'll be right back. Chapter 2. Feeling Squeaky I stayed 
scared about the bus for a whole week, and last night when my mother tucked me into bed, I still felt sickish about it. Guess what I said? I don't think I want to ride the school bus to kindergarten tomorrow. Then my mother rumpled my hair. Oh, sure you do, she said. Oh, sure, I don't, I said back. Then mother kissed me and said, it'll be fun. You'll see. Just don't worry. Mm. I did through I worry very much, and I didn't sleep so good either. And that morning I felt very droppy when I got up and my stomach was squeaky and I couldn't eat my cereal. So I ha I watched the TV until Mother said it was time to go to get ready to go. Then I put on my skirt that looks like velvet and my new fuzzy pink sweater and ate and ate half of my of half a tuna sandwich for lunch. After that, Mother and I walked to the corner of the, to the corner to wait for the bus. And guess what? There was another mother and little girl too. The little girl had curly black hair, which is my favorite kind of head. I did I didn't say hello to her through, cause she was from a different street. That's why. That's finally the big yellow bus came. Then finally the big yellow bus came around the corner, and the brakes screeched very loud, and I had to cover my ears. Then the door opened, and the bus driver said, Hi, I'm Mr. Wu. Hop on. So just because, um, just because you have somebody from a different street, that doesn't mean you don't say hi to them. Because you should say hi to everybody, so I want you to learn a theme about this. Except I didn't hop on cause my legs didn't want to, they want to. I don't, I don't think I want to ride the bus to kindergarten, I told mother again. Then she gave me a little push. Go on, Jeannie B, she said. Mr. Wu is waiting for you. Be a big girl and get on. I looked up at the window. The little girl with, with the curly black hair was already in the bus. She looked very big, sitting up there and kind of happy. Look how big that little girl is acting, Judy B, said Mother. Why don't you sit right next to her? It'll be fun, I promise. And she got on the bus. And so I got on the bus, and guess what? It wasn't fun. So, so again, guys, I need you to learn that just because somebody lives... Uh, at the end of a street, uh, just because somebody lives at the end of the street, I'm going to say that for example. Just because they live at the end of the street doesn't mean you don't say hi to them. You should always say hi to everyone you know you know about. Anyways, hope you, thank you for joining us for our, for our chapter 1 and chapter 2 of Judy B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. See you tomorrow for the Caragar Rocks Channel update. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow.